My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Fantastic weekend for me. Jake, how about you? We both had some fun in the snow this weekend. Jake going down the slopes in Utah. I think that's where he is. And I went way down the hill with my nephew Ike on my back. So a lot of fun in the snow. But first, Jake, the Rams Rams go go for for a championship. championship. Wow. Our guy Trev's Matt Stafford in the Rams. They did it. The favorites. Wow. Wow. Rams up. Rams up. Just like he said. Jake, over there. Jim, can you tell us about this almost a breakdown, the only sport named after an animal? Yes, I actually really wanted to do this as a breakdown breakdown, but there's like no footage and it's super grainy. It's cricket. It's the last ball of the match. The team that's hitting needs five runs. So as long as they don't hit a home run, it's very hard to win. All the fielder needs to do is catch the ball, run to the middle of the pitch, and then the, the, the batters don't run anymore. He runs to the middle of the pitch and then does what you did in video games and just threw it to the outfield, which is like all he had to do is not, not throw do the that. ball. Anything but like, that. Uh, the Will Craig Pirates play. Like, oh, you had to do anything but that, and you your team would have won. Yeah. The devastation... And the announcers are so good. The announcers in 11 out of 10. Listen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where's the sound come out? Is oh, my God not a saying? I think this is in India or Pakistan. I forget. But uh, it just is all non-English. And oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sorry to all crickets. So that's the cricket. Let's go to the more sports. Jake, what do you got? But before we do it, Canada Dips. Code DUMB, 50% off. Swag Pack, CanadaDipCBD.com. All five of their core flavors for $5 a can, plus a badass snap back. That was awesome. The more sports. You should float that like the feather from Farce Gump. Maybe it's both. Maybe it's both happening at the same time. Don't even need the audio. Just got that. So let's go back to the more of the sports. Jim. This is big. Uh, Mother Russia, shout out. We're huge over there. They've started another fighting league. Fighting's huge. We're a fighting company, basically. And uh, there's a phrase in football. Remember mm. Super Bowl? Mm. There's a phrase in football. Guys playing a phone booth, offensive lineman. They're strong right here. Well, Russia set up a fighting league in a phone booth. How big are the phone booths? They're like the British Austin Powers phone booth. So they're like right there? Oh, yeah. Can they and not even great. cock back? Are you watching this? So it's a bad place to be short because there's a lot of like downward. Yeah. If you get low, it's Is a bad time. Is there a phone time. in the booth? There's one fat guy that does it. What? Yeah. How does he fit? Time. He can't fit in one of those London phone he booths. He fits. It's a pretty good scene. Well, I'm glad phone booths are finally getting repurposed. It's good. They have a use again. I don't think I ever utilized a real phone booth. I've used a pay phone in middle school is how I got home. What counts as a real phone booth? Like I went into a, a glass square shut the door and the people could see me oh, inside okay. like a London phone booth. Like you're saying, I don't think I ever did that. You're counting American phone booths. So like, if yeah, you're, like the one from dumb and dumber scene here. Great scene. Oh, it makes me so mad. I almost like it. James, we have a little bit of a sad, not sports today. What? Pour one out. Yield fighting cocks. No more. Fought their last fight. Those cocks. It's the oldest pub in Britain, but probably not. They probably just say that. I don't know. It's a really old pub in England. I will say this. When I went to go see the date, I was expecting like a, I don't know what I was expecting. 15 something. They dropped a 793 AD. Not even real. Which that's a flex. Well, it's not even a real number. Sorry to the pub. The uh, British, they claim to be British oldest pub. Probably not true. You know what? Shout out McSorley's. That's an old pub in the US and that's a cool place. I like it. Sorry to the fighting cocks. St. Albans. I think we were just there in GeoGuessr. Albany. We were in Albany, New Zealand. It was a good time. Oh, fuck that. You like McSorley's? Yeah, man. Uh, I'm all for bars. There's wishbones on the the chandelier from soldiers that went to World War I and never returned. Not as creepy as you think. The ghosts will freak you out. The bones are fine. At least you can touch them. <laughs> Is that it? Uh, we normally do in a segment called Employee of the Week. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... Iadu, 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 Employee of the Week. Iadu, Employee Iadu. of the Week. I took some liberties with the W. Yeah. Iadu. Iadu. Twa. Iatua. Itwa. 
Oh, that's I, one of French. Trois. That's what I would say. But the French trois. and the Russian, and we're big in Russia. We're giving it to a couple Ruskies. Oh, the employees of the week actually deserve it this week big time. Zach is one of them. Pains me to say. Uh, Tom Prizman. We'll wait to the month. Jack. Yeah. Myself. The whole editing crew on the Blitzball battle for 10K. First game came out yesterday. Make sure you go check it out. $10,000 goes to the winning team. Whoops. It was a doozy. Cheese. So everyone that's been editing in the back end, because it's been a grind. No sleep crew. That was the Weekly Dumb. Today's episode of Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Canadips, the best dip alternative on the planet. The Humboldt County Dip Heroes are here to bring you the incredible power of CBD in a discreet and effective way. Use code DUMB to get 50% off the swag pack. This deal won't last forever, so head to CanadipsCBD.com now and use code DUMB. Just get those. Just get the Super Bowl lines, and then like give a sentence about if if the Rams won, just like a pre, and then if the Bengals won. Can you believe it, Joe Burrow and the Bengals? They pulled it off. Man, what a couple years for him. Need more? Nah, that's good.